Was there ever a time when you would ask yourself, why me? Or why did this happen to me? I do remember there was times I would spend time in the library and I would cry to myself. I would cry to myself. I remember I had a little, I had a notebook and I would just write stuff and I would think, I would just sit there and I would just quietly cry to myself. And then, and then of course, switch back and go back to class. <laughs> um, and thinking back at it, you know, in the early 2010s, in that era, this is a big push of new atheism. Dawkins, Hitchens, and uh, so Dennett, Harris. and Harris. This is their prime. Yeah, they're giving lectures at Oxford Uni. Their YouTube is blowing up. Um, books are going out. They're making it mainstream. And, you know, I encountered uh, an explanation from that, from that side. And, you know, the explanation more or less is, is that if this God is supposedly all-powerful, all-knowing, yeah, he's all-able to do things, okay, why bone cancer in little children? I'd say bone cancer in children? You know, What's that about? Is it, it's, it's wrapped with emotion. And it's difficult to answer the question when it's wrapped with emotion. But when you sort of take the emotion out and you think about it rationally and logically, um, I found that the, the Islam, the Islamic tradition, has got a really um, deep, deep and deeply layered answer to this in ways that other traditions don't. And I say this is because often when atheists uh, engage with this question and they caricature it, often they're responding to a Christian God and a Christian understanding of God. And the Christian understanding of God fits that caricature that they're responding to. And it's a total straw man to the Islamic tradition, right? So it's a total misrepresentation. Um, why? Because in the Christian God, he's all good. He's only all good. But in the Islamic tradition, we have this, we have this, um, you know, Allah SWT has revealed himself in, we have the 99 names, like it's clear and explicit. So for example, Allah SWT is the all wise, yeah? Well, if he's the all wise, then there's wisdom. And if there's wisdom, there's a reason. So the question here is, is what is that reason? And I think what happens is when we go through challenges and difficulties, we, we put ourselves at the center of the universe, yeah? We put ourselves in the middle, yeah? Uh, in, the, in the way, and we say that if I was God, why did I let this happen? Mm. Kind of thing, which is what is termed anthropomorphizing God, mm. right? So, uh, and that's of course a bad thing to do in our tradition, right? We don't do that. Um, so the point here is, is that there's different ways of looking at things and different ways of understanding things. So in the moment, I could not comprehend because I'm going through that experience. It's just so, it's, there's so much happening on a mental, social, physical, biological thing. That's just like, it's confusing. But when the dust settled, I could have this intellectual uh, engagement with this with this topic better. And in doing that, I was able to appreciate the answer. And so the question was, what was that wisdom? If you talk to me 12 years after the fact, which is today, 12 years, I could appreciate the wisdom in so many ways, right? In fact, I would appreciate the wisdom so much so that if I ever had, if I had to rewrite my life, if I was, if, if God gave you the, a book in the beginning, he's like, he's like, and he said, you're going to be born and just choose how you want to live your life. Write down what you want and I'll do it for you. And I say this really, I say this genuinely and sincerely. I wouldn't have it any other way because what this has opened up to me is opportunities, relationships, um, uh, realizations that could not have happened if, if I didn't go through those experiences, I can imagine that if I didn't, if if you know if this didn't happen, what kind of person I would have been? Like you can just, I guess, come to appreciate the wisdom of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Like I heard one sheikh, he said it once. He goes, "You see the pixel." Yes, yes. Allah sees the whole picture. Mm -hmm. You know, with our limited understanding as human beings, we need to acknowledge and understand that we do have a limited intellect. We do have a limited understanding of the world and how it operates. So when we see the pixel. We are oblivious that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got this whole picture going on beyond our eyesight. And we only, it only takes the entire experience for us to appreciate that 